If you love fall and hockey, then this is a perfect activity for you. Allie Lucci is live at the Twin Cities Harvest Festival and Corn Maze in Brooklyn Park this morning. Allie, how's it going? Great, Jason. This corn maze uh, takes up 20 acres. It's the largest in the state, and a portion of the profits, because this is a Minnesota wild themed corn maze, go to the Minnesota Wild Foundation. And here to tell us more about this maze and just about how it's created is the man who is in charge here, Bert Bauman. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here with you, Ellie. And definitely we did raise quite a bit last year with the foundation. And this year we are hoping to even go beyond what we did last year. So each person that will be coming here will be contributing with the, with the foundation, which helps the community. Now, uh, you took me on a tour, but it's not just uh, people can get lost in the maze, but there are so many other things to do here. When you walk in to that center area, there's a corn pit, there's funnel cakes, live music. What else can families do if they come out here? It, with the whole festival, the petting zoo is a big attraction. We have a small kids play area with uh, the different little things to do. And like you said, the strawberry maze and the corn pit will take most of the activity for the little kids and the challenge in the maze. It's a wonderful experience for all ages. You know, it's wonderful to see the toddlers having fun all the way to grandparents. Now, how much planning goes into the maze design and making sure it's difficult and it's also uh, not too hard to create? You know, it's a whole year long and we always worry about, you know, is the weather, how is it growing and, and uh, what kind of corn to uh, will stand the winds or whatever the weather is going to be, how nice the corn is going to be in the fall. So it's, you always, uh, it's hard to say how many hours because it's uh, every day we do some chores on the property for the fall festival that we have. So how is the corn this year? It's pretty good, right? The weather has been cooperating us very well, so we have a very nice looking and good standing corn for the, for the whole festival. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning and uh, opening weekend is tomorrow so you can come check it out it, it really is great uh, they're going to have live music here every weekend and it's open all the way uh, through the middle of October if you do want to come check it out and for MEA weekend if you're looking for something to do with the kids for that long four-day weekend once again it's right off of 169 and 109th Avenue North so I would highly recommend it and what kid doesn't love tractors right tractors corn pit this is pretty close Hockey. to my house in maple grove so it's a good one Allie. very nice thanks for uh, uh telling everybody about it it is going to be a nice weekend yeah. oh yeah to get out and do, do the corn maze apple picking it is that time of year isn't it top 10 weather day send get us the pictures right we want to know what you're up to yes we love seeing the top 10 weather day pictures like